Yo, 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 what is up, Total War fans? Sweezy here today with a brand new episode playing the Somalian campaign on Legendary Difficulty in Total War Three Kingdoms, the A Princess DLC. So, quick recap for the last episode. Uh, we were able to consolidate all of our vassalizations uh, across the various regions and factions uh, within our immediate vicinity so as you can tell in terms of looking at a diplomatic status we have Sima Ying as one of our uh, vassals we have Huang Xing and Sima Ai as one and Song Wei and Ruin Chen are our uh, allies and then we have a bunch of vassals spread out across uh, the middle to our to our west side, um, specifically Sima Mo, Sima Chen, Sima Chen, all those people. And pretty much right now we're at war with nobody really, <laughs> but we're definitely planning on attacking Sima Yue and kind of planning on attacking the Jin Empire through this route, so conquering Sima Yue and then ultimately move towards the Jin Empire. And hopefully by then. I can actually get somewhere close to the Imperial Prince, or at least make it to the Grand Prince, so that I can actually start choosing Emperor or Regent um, a bit more easily without causing too many issues. So, with that said, um, let's continue our campaign. So, in terms of Rune 9, um, definitely. Sorry, it's assigning. Actually, we don't, have, we don't have any assignments open right now. Uh, but in terms of upgrading, we definitely can upgrade since we have definitely enough food. So, so let's go ahead and do that. Actually, we have, we have tons of gold as well. Um, this army is building up. So pretty much from uh, from the last episode, we we're planning on having this army join up with with Smaliang's army in order to have a two prawn attack into Sima U.S. territories and start conquering the land and ultimately um, start a war with uh, the Jin Empire. So as you can see here, we have no wars right now. We have three allies. And we have tons of vassals. Um, so let's see if anyone else wants to join us. So Sima Yen is definitely very close. So let's let's actually start negotiating some deals here. Ooh, Ooh nice, nice. Off autonomy. Okay, so Sima Yin can definitely be one of our vassals. So let's definitely go ahead and do that. And let's see if we can get some items out of this as well. Nope. Uh, request regular payments. Let's see. How much are you willing to pay me to be my vassal, Sima Yin? Let's see. 300? Nope. 294 290 291 nope 290 is the max okay so 290 is the max i think this is a pretty good deal so let's go ahead and do that so we now we got sima yin as one of our vassals mediate peace nope he's definitely not gonna attack us that's for sure so non-aggression pack sima yue nah I don't, i'm gonna deal with you sima yue i try sima yao you want to be my vassal? No, you do not want to be my vassal. So let's get some money out of you at least. 95, 96, 97, nope, 96. It's a pretty good deal, not bad. So let's go ahead and do that. So military access, Jin Empire. No, because we're going to go be attacking the Jin Empire soon. So we definitely don't want to have military access yet um let's try to see how if we can squeeze the money squeeze any money out of these guys for well, military access press regular payments uh, nah that's not enough it's okay so i think we're good for now getting tons and tons of Income through uh, tributaries as well as diplomacy and taxation um, Definitely very awesome. So all the tributary stuff is essentially all the vassals. I'm controlling right now And that's my highest income aside from the family estates, which I will be losing once uh, Smileon dies So definitely want to build up my income before that happens So for Rune 9, let's upgrade this to a city For you, let's uh, recruit some additional units um, specifically, let's get more of these guys, and let's get some tribuchets in this army right here. 
because she has the uh, the resourcefulness, which gives that flaming shot to the trebuchet. So definitely very very useful. And she's also very close to getting composure as well. She's a very good um, strategist for sure. Let's see, can I give this to you? Nope. Okay, so I think at this point, um, I can either wait for these to get more units, or I can attack. Let, let's wait for one more turn for these units to build up, and then we can start attacking some of you. Because I know that he has a full banner army around here somewhere, because he was attacking the Jin Empire. Um, so I definitely want to make sure that... You know, I have enough resources to defend against anything that bad that might happen. So let's go ahead and. Position effects. So let's see. Yeah, I definitely want to give someone good to do this. So he's very unhappy. Why are you so unhappy, bro? What's going on? Okay, so let's end this turn and see what happens um, with Samaria. Hopefully, he can start attacking him by next turn. Against alliance of the grateful crane, uh, rejecting will result. Ooh, I'm gonna be losing a lot of. Damn, this is a really hard decision, Sima Yen. Where are you, Sima Yen? Oh, damn, if I accept, I'll be losing literally relationships with everyone. You know, I think at this point, I'll probably just want to reject. So right now, for if I do reject, I'll only be losing relationships slightly with a lot of people and a lot with Smyans and rejecting his vassals independence. So let's reject. Damn, this is <laughs> holy shit. This is a hard decision. But I really don't want to lose all these relationships with literally everyone. Yeah, I, I need to reject this. I think this is the only way. Sima Yan, why you gotta do this to me, man? Huang Xing was requesting that we both declare war on Sima Yan. <laughs> Should I take this in terms of declaring war on Sima Yan? Nah, I think I'm gonna reject it. I don't, I don't need to get into more wars right now. Well, we invite Sima Yen and join our coalition. Really? So the guy literally got out of my vassal in order to join our coalition. Wow. It made me untrustworthy now. That's so lame. Bauren signed a peace treaty with Sima Yen. Alliance of Shang Yi declared war on Sima Yen. Faction succession. Su Yen requested Mao Ren to join their war. So what on satisfied populace might or mind alignment. And also get subtle. Minus 25% upkeep for new spies. I don't really need the spies. I might just get the might to be honest. Since I have the spirit. I don't really have any mind. I think I'm gonna go for the might. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the might. Okay, this dude is very unhappy. I probably want to just promote him, to be honest. Yeah, so let's do that to get his satisfaction up a bit. And then, let's see right now. For diplomacy, we're not at a war with anyone. We can't trade with the Jin Empire. Because Sima Yue is taking over the territories. Let's see, nope. No cooperation. Either. Okay. So, 
I think we can, yeah, they definitely trained up pretty well. So that's love. That's definitely go ahead and start attacking Sima Yue. I think we should be fine at this point. So I'm gonna march my army over here. Um, and then I'll probably start attacking together. I probably what I want to do right now. Farmland. What's the garrison looking like? Okay, it's not. It's, it's a pretty bad garrison. The Sima Yen is right here. It's part of our coalition. All right, let's uh, let's go ahead and siege the farm. Yeah, I might even just attack it directly and straight up, so that we don't have to wait for them. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Attacking Cao Huan. Attacking Sima Yue, finally. Let's do this. Delegate. Nah, start battle. Definitely gonna win this. Probably not gonna lose any casualties just because my trebuchets is gonna do a good amount of damage. And hopefully get them to actually come out of their settlements. Alright, let's get into the battle. So, for this specific battle map okay that's awesome there's naturally uh, for some reason i thought farmlands have towers but i guess not so this will definitely be a lot easier battle than i thought it was gonna be so let's get our spear infantry lined up correctly so we have a building here so let's just try to line up next to it just like like so and then we'll get our imperial guards with their shield wall we we'll have this building right here. So we can probably put Imperial Guard something somewhat like this to really block off that side. Um, I guess our other Imperial Guards. Put them right here to block off this side. As well. Okay, for archers. Number two. Right behind spear guard units get our trip get our uh, three and get our cavalry my uh, my first regiment of cavalry on the right flank the second regiment of cavalry on the left flank try to flank down the archers if they have any trebuchets right behind the archers Strategist right over here. Sima Leung right here. Okay. So I think this is pretty good. Got my trebuchets up. Oh shit. Wrong wrong one. Okay, five. Alright, let's start battle. Definitely. Definitely aim for Yeah, definitely aim for the archers as much as possible. All right, let's watch this. Damn, that's a huge miss. I missed like 80% of my shots into their army. Pretty sad, actually. Yep, tons of misses again. And they're disappearing because I don't see them. That is very weird. I'm not, I'm not really quite sure I don't see them, to be honest. Okay, now I see them. Damn, son. Alright, let's aim for the archers. And once they once the archers get enough close enough range, I need to start aiming for them as well. Let's Let's get our cavalrys up. Yeah, see, the archer's already attacking me. Five. Alright, so that this should be pretty good. Get my cavalry around the corner. Got my cavalry here. 
子儿童，到底是无胆鼠辈。Hopefully they were out, so I'm pretty sure they were out. But yeah, all right, this is it. I don't want, I don't want my cavalry to lose units. There's no point trying to actually. Yeah, I'll let my archers take care of them, just so I can get some ex more experience. Also, my tributaries get more experience as well. And look at my crossbowmen doing work over here. It's crazy, yo. Right, I'll let Smalian, Smabang taking take care of. Uh, these routing units. The last let's watch the cinematic right here. Damn, look at him doing work. Nice. Let's go, Sima Bang. A general is doing all kinds of work. <laughs> this is awesome. Get that experience, boys. Get that experience. All right, I think we can claim victory for this one. Pretty easy battle. Probably only lost like a couple people from those arrow fires. Yeah, I only lost three units. Not bad at all. Look, look how many kills these archers got. Crazy. I don't know how my cavalry got kills though. That's weird. Anyways, lost three units. Character rank scan, yes, finally got rank three, so we can get some uh, flaming shots with my trebuchets, which should make them a lot more powerful. And still in your game, military axe, not bad, not bad. Plus twelve resolve, minus six expertise. All right, let's uh, level you up and get some flaming shots, baby. Perfect, perfect. And now let's get you a bit further up. So Sima Yue is on this side. So I'm definitely wanna I think the main army is here because this used to be Jin Empire's city. Um and then all of a sudden the last turn looks like Sima Yue taking over, so I'm pretty sure his main army is right here. So I probably will want to go for his main army knock it out as quickly as possible with my two big armies and then the rest of the, the rest of the uh the battles and the invasion should make it a lot easier so let's let's plan for that okay let's see uh what's actually going on on the diplomatic side he wants peace of course you want peace why would you not want peace that's a real question smile yell see cooperation let's see quest no what would you give me for the military access? Nothing. Oh, well then. I guess uh, no military access for you, Smayel. Jin Empire. No. Okay, so nothing on the dip uh, diplomatic side. I think we can end this turn for now. So let's go to the next turn and see what Smayel does um, as his next steps. Asked to join our coalition. Should I accept or reject? If I reject, I lose things with Sima Yan. But if I accept, I gain with Sima I, which I already have a lot. So let's just. Let's reject. We'll invite a Jim Hydra on our coalition. Sure, why not? Alright, Sima Rui signed a peace treaty. Sima Yao. Sima Yao requests Sima John to join the war. Tao Huan. Oh, nice. So this guy declared war on the Jin Empire. Hero's aid. So we gain an ancillary. Nice, nice. I wonder what we actually got. Ancillary. Oh, bodyguard. Ten plus ten melee invasion own retinue. Damn, that's that's, that's actually really strong. Plus four instinct, plus four resolve, and then clay ox with the six authority. That's actually really good. 
um, item. I think I'm going to give it to him for the resolve and the instinct. And in terms of melee evasion, this will be really nice as well for horses and the other one. I wonder if melee evasion actually applies to horses. Yeah, it does. We have six. Yeah, let's give it to this guy. I think I think he would do really well with with this for sure. Plus four resolve as well. Yep. Now he's a super beastie, uh, super beastie, uh, warrior, vanguard. It's gonna be awesome. Okay. So farmland upgrade. Yeah, let's definitely upgrade that. Definitely have the money for it. In terms of you, so let's let's start going for. I'm not sure if I want to attack Chen right now. I think I might take over the uh, Young Zhao life, livestock farm just because it's flanked by both of Jin Empire's territories. So it's gonna be hard for Sima Yu to actually get to it. And let's have a bunch of territories on the side here, but I don't think he does, to be honest. Um, so I think we should be pretty safe to get this livestock farm. So let's send this army towards a livestock farm. And have this army. Oh, no. He actually does have a decent sized army. But I don't think this army is going to be able to counter mine. Mine's a lot stronger than that army. And it's all strategies as well. So, yeah. Let's check their uh, garrison. Yeah, the garrison is pretty weak too. So, I think I'm going to send this army to attack this one. Um, while he defends this for now. Actually, I might do military access with the Jin Empire, just so that I can cross these lands. Actually, no, I can go through Tao Huan, Tao Huan's territories. He's, he's my vassal, I believe. Are you my vassal? Oh, he's not. He's not my vassal. Interesting. Sima Jin over here. Are you? Are you willing to give me any any money for non-aggression pact? Yeah, pretty decent amount. Not bad. 105, 106, 105. Okay, let's do non-aggression pact with you. Um, let's also do what about Sma Chi? So Sma Chi's down here. Um, yeah, definitely not gonna be going down there anytime soon. Let's, so let's try to get some. Good relationships with you so they can be part of a vassal later on. I don't need to do that yet. Smart Jin. Oh. Okay. Okay, so let's leave this. Actually, I'm going to leave this army here. So let's see. what's How How can we actually get to over here from Cao Huan's territory? Um... Seem like the only roads I can do it with is through here. That's a bit too much of a walk. So I might actually do military access with the Jin Empire. I might do military access with the Jin Empire. Um, let's see. What can you give me? Yeah, you have so much. Have tons of armor. But these armor all suck though. It's not very good. So let's uh let's get some payments out of Jin Empire. I think I'm gonna do military access with the Jin Empire in order to actually get to where I need to go. And it's giving quite a good amount too. 280 per turn. That's a lot. Okay, five, seven, six, two eighty-five. Yeah, it's definitely a good deal. So let's do that with Jin Empire so we can actually walk through his lands and start attacking um Sima Yue. Let's do that. I don't think we need to replenish any more. We do want to be careful, though. So, actually, what I might do... Is that I might... What the... Why can't you... That was, that was weird. Anyways. Instead of ambush here? No. Okay, it's fine. So I don't think he can reach me yet, so we should be good. 
And uh, let's end our turn. And actually, before we do that, let's see what new people and can we hire. Nope, nobody important. Okay, so let's end our turn and see what happens. Boy, my funds out. Uh, nah. That money is not worth it for the military acts. I can definitely use that for diplomacy later on. We'll invite Sima Chi to join our coalition. Sure, why not? Even though it's gonna get rejected. Just for face, you know? Just for face. Okay, so Sima Chi signed a peace treaty with Sima Ren. I mean, Mao Ren. Alliance of Sima Yao signed a peace treaty with Jin Empire. Fashion developments. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, buildings. So Yang Zhao is done. Character developments. I'll check that out later, but let's upgrade this again so we can get a lot more military units in here as well as a lot more food production. We can definitely start using food production as well as one of our training things um, to get more, you know, to essentially boost our diplomacy. But let's upgrade this. Also, let's choose the next level here. So I've got this a so plus 5% replenishment, which is awesome. Uh, minus 5% recruitment cost. Minus 10% construction cost, plus 3 seasonal retinue deployments. Minus 10 redeployment, don't really need that. Plus 10 ammunition. This is going to be really good military logistics. So let's, I think right now it's between this one and this one. I'm probably going to go for this since I already recruited all my army. I don't really need this for now. But this one's going to be, not this one. This one's going to be really good, the plus 10% ammunition. Uh, plus 10% in commerce, don't really need that. Don't really need this as well. I mean, this is nice, but I don't really need that either. So I'm thinking I'm going to go with the plus 10 ammunition for my units. I'm going to make my archers and my tribuchets a lot stronger. All right, let's check you out. Ooh, ambitious. I, I really don't like people with the ambitious talent. Stern. Eternal. I mean, he's she's a really good, like, um... Sentinel with high amount of expertise For sure and she also starts off with this tenacity of steel, which is really good But I don't really need any more melee people right now 48 spiteful Enable scare temperamental Spiteful cunning charitable Plus 10% income from peasantry minus reproduction from minus plus four noble support I mean, she has really good cunning, but she doesn't really start off with really good, really good things, to be honest. She starts off with a nice jacket, though. That's, I mean, I might even just get her just to take off, take off her clothes <laughs> and then take off her clothes. That's a really bad thing to say. But anyways, take off uh, her armor and then just let her go. Nah, there's no point in doing that. It's okay. Okay, so for you, let's... So the army that was in here left, so we can definitely attack this. I think we should have good enough army to defend against any counterattacks. So let's... It's gonna be a gamble. It's gonna be a gamble for sure, but let's do it. Yep, right there. So she's gonna come and defend. So we're gonna have reinforcements coming and attacking these, but they're all strategists, which is good considering we have sentinels as well as a general. And they have mostly pretty weak units with only two cavalry units and one, two, three, four, four archers against our mostly shielded shield wall units as well as tribuchets. So I think we can win this pretty easily. So let's fight this out. All right, so let's get this battle started. Oh, she has a guerrilla deployment too. Interesting. So they're coming from that side. So I'm not exactly sure if they're going to have the army lined up here. Or they're going to have it lined up here somewhere. So I might even just align my army up here. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to align my army up there. Shield wall formation. Um... Hopefully they'll line up the army here and then they can start attacking them with tribuchets right away. And then... Five... Flammable rounds. 
formations guard mode. Just line, line, line you guys back here. Cavalry formations. I think I'm gonna put you guys here. Or my right flank around here somewhere. My generals. Here, here, and then my strategist right here. Okay, what is this? Melee evasion. Nice, nice, nice. That's awesome. So I'm definitely gonna keep her within these units of the melee evasion. And he has a negative morale. So I'm gonna join you guys with with three. You can be the cavalry commander on this side. I'm gonna line you guys up here actually. Alright, let's uh start this battle. Yep, I knew it. The, uh, the computer always try to do that. They always try to link up with the reinforcements. I think this is a perfect scenario for us. Damn, look how trebuchets. Ooh, that's a nice hit right there. These are really nice hits. Yeah, they're definitely trying to go to their reinforcements, so let's try to cut them down as quickly as possible. What I should have done, to be honest, is that line my archers up so they can't get in range of these guys and start attacking them immediately. I th I hopefully, my uh, my cavalry is going to distract them a bit so they will stop moving. So then I can actually get my trebuchets to hit a lot more. Nice, nice. Are these guys running? Okay, yeah, they're stopping. They're trying to brace for the charge. Definitely not gonna let them brace for the charge. I'm gonna aim for their uh, G infantry captains. So that, so what I did just did there is that my cavalry was able to get them to stop moving towards their reinforcements. And uh, make sure that my trebuchets can start hitting them as quickly as possible. Nice, nice, nice. Perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna line up my cavalry here. Okay, so I'm gonna move these guys around. So I can start facing that group. Definitely want to stay out of the range of their crossbowmen. Okay, so they're about to run out of ammo soon. Let's so let's pause on that for now. Let's see. Line you guys up here. Trebuchets are they almost in range. Okay, let's uh, let's shift you guys a bit. So that we can get a better angle on these attacks. Alright, so their archers over here are back. I definitely want to aim for the crosswomen as early as possible since that's going to do the most damage to me. Um, definitely aim for the crosswomen. The archers here are pretty much dead. That's easily routable with just one charge. That, should not, that shouldn't be a problem. So aim for the crossbowmen right here. But they have a bunch of archers over there. So actually, I'm going to aim for these crossbowmen. Okay, so they're turning the other way. So I might need to move my guys. Come on. Okay, like that. Get these guys over here. Calvary over here. Oh shit. Oh no, he's good. Oh, I was scared for a second. Let's get my sentinel right here. So my trebuchet is almost out of ammo, but I'm gonna aim for these guys to get as much damage done out of that as possible. But they're coming this way.
trebuchet is doing some pretty good damage, but it's just... Yeah, it's all, they're all scattered. It makes it a bit harder. Should be fine, though. So I got my shield wall here. Saber militia. Oh, shit. Yeah, so they're already routing, so that's definitely good. Definitely want my um, crossbowmen to focus fire on their crossbows the moment they get in range. So definitely want to start doing that. Like th this group right here, this specific set of crossbowmen. Yep, aim for these. Okay, so the one one of their crosswomen has routed. Definitely trying to aim for these group. Alright, that's that's not that's not what I want you guys to do. Run back. Alright, so you guys are doing well. So aim for these guys. Alright, charge at these crossbowmen. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. That's that definitely hurts. Nice, nice. This is just going well. This the, 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 took the charge actually really well, surprisingly, here. Like, really well. Yep, so they're doing pretty well here still. Saber Militia. So they're kind of sort of bracing, but charging from all angles. Definitely did tons of work there. All right, so let's let's charge in the back of these now. So you charge here, you charge here. So these guys are all routing. So come over here and charge in the back of these. Yeah, you guys, you guys are still fighting off the mountain saber militia. That's fine. So you come over here and charge in the back of all of these. So uh, let's do some cycle charging. Um, get these guys route. All right, so they're all routing. That's perfect, perfect, perfect. They're all routing. Let's kill off as many as we possibly can. So you. Go kill all of those guys. So let's kill off all of these units. I mean, you have one archer, one crossbow, one saber militia, six mountain militias. Let's kill these guys. Uh, yep, you guys are attacking these. Perfect, perfect. Killing all the G militias here. All right, everyone's got somebody to to kill, so that's definitely very good. 14k, 12k. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, this actually turned out pretty well. My these infantry units, these Imperial Guards, almost took no damage at all from the charge, which is awesome. I mean, it's, these guys took a decent amount, they took a good amount of damage, but this specific unit actually somehow survived against a side charge from all of these horses, which is pretty crazy. So that's definitely really awesome. These are Imperial Guards, man. They're super strong. Alright, you go for the G Infantry Captain. 
Bouncer Militia. Go for those. How about you guys? You guys gonna kill these guys off here or what? Jeez. Taking freaking forever, man. I think the plus 50 melee, melee evasion really helped as well. Nice, almost that one more hit. Nice, nice. You go for this guy. Ah. She was able to escape with 321 HP left. Oh, no, she's not, she's not, she's not escaped yet. That's good. Let's see. Nice, nice. All right, so that was a very, very, very good battle for me, I think. Damn, look at the units that kill. 610 and 502. That's insane. These cavalry, man. Infantry killers for sure. I only lost 347 units, which is fucking awesome. Occupy. Nice, nice, nice. Barely lost anyone. Just perfect. I don't know why. Alright, so I guess I'll promote you again. Hopefully you'll stop being angry at everybody. Livestock farm. All right, so so this army is done. So Pen Chang. So Sima Yue saw Pen Chang. This is gonna be a very precarious position for me right now. I might even actually reconsider how I'm gonna do this and actually go this way around because it looks like Sima Yue has these amount of territories on this side. So yeah, so I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move my army, force march them to meet up with this side. Just in case that they decide to take the main army and go around this way and start getting Yang Zhao instead. So I'll do that. And hopefully that should resolve some issues. Man, why is everyone like just bitching? Holy shit. Plus 10 melee evasion. Yeah, she has 40 and without even reaching the gold. She's going to be really good. But the problem is with all these people who are super unhappy, though. That's the only downside. All right, she can actually get the axe, but definitely don't want that. Is she in one of our army my armies? Oh, yeah, she is. She's in this one. Yeah, I know. Why are these people are all unhappy for some reason? Now I, now I got the satisfaction low issue. Yeah, it sucks. Should I, should I put her there? Gonna put him there. She didn't really like. <sighs> oh man, I think I might just need to put her here. To be honest, yeah, let's let's do that. It's not ideal, but you know whatever. Not ideal at all. Visor plus two satisfaction plus minus two satisfaction plus ten percent income from commerce minus five man this this guy's actually really good but he doesn't like Sima Ju which is a problem okay so let's uh let's go move to the next turn and see what actually no let's look at the diplomacy first oh no invoke council uh construct a building from the following chain settlement administration that's not that difficult both of these are really good okay i won't get them um, in terms of next steps, let's take a look at our diplomacy to see who can we actually get as our vassal. So let's smachi. Let's do uh, some negotiations with you. Uh, how much do we want to pay? Nothing important. Okay, let's uh, let's end our turn and see what Samaria does next. We invite the Jin Empire into our coalition. 
Okay, so Sima Yue is asked to join, reject. Man, why you keep on asking? Ah. Guess how to reject. Sima Yue probably hates me by now. <laughs> Alright, so Sima Yue didn't actually do anything. He's probably consolidating his forces right now, to be honest. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, shit. Oh, it's okay. Labor Recruiter plus two resolve. Let's see, who can we give this to? Resolve's pretty good for her, actually. Especially since she's going to be, like, the duelist of the group. He already has one. He already has one. Yeah, so I think I'm going to give it to her. Just so that she has some resolve for dueling purposes. Um, Buildings complete in Rune 9. Perfect, perfect. So Rune 9 is mostly farming and industry. So should I do the plus 3% tribute and diplomacy plus 2 jurisdiction? Diplomacy, or should I start doing this with grain storage? No assignments. Let's see, Confucian Temple, plus 5% income. So I have pretty much balance between industry and peasantry. Inspector's office, plus 10% from all sources. Man, this is really good. The noble support is kind of a pain though. But this one gives a lot of noble support. We're gonna have a plus 11. I might actually just do this since I'm gonna get 400, so then I'm gonna get eight, essentially 80 total income after building this. 80 total income for 20 gold per turn upkeep. So I get a net of 60, which is not bad. I mean, this is also really good, plus 5% from all sources. And then a plus 10% research rate, and it gives it economy land. Plus 10% income from industry. Interesting. So if that's if I get that, that's 40 um, from industry, which is 30 upkeep, but I get minus 10% recruitment cost in this area. That's very, very, very tempting. Very tempting. I might actually do this first and then go for military forge and then that yeah i'm gonna do that so let's go for uh state workshops to get my to get my uh industry income up to hopefully boost some other stuff okay so my armies are all good to go punching so I think what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go towards this direction and see if this is... Who is this captured by? Sima Jin has this territory right here. So I'm definitely going to go directly into Pain Chain. What's the fastest way? So go right here. That's going to be a bit dangerous just because you have Chun right here. Um, so I might actually want to be going around. Just so that I can have these guys, once they finish um, replenishing, I can start reinforcing this army. Let's go ahead and do that, actually. Let me get some military supplies, though. This is getting really low. Let's, let's do that. Why can't I change out of Force March? Weird. Anyways. So, for, for here... I might actually get some more of... I might actually just get some of these guys, G-Militia, to, to protect my flanks from cavalry charges. Uh, pretty cheap. And do the, well, do the job. I mean, these guys are good, but the problem is, is that... Like, I don't really... I don't need them to be in the front line. I need them to be the sideline. So let's get some of the G-Militia just protect my my uh, sides from, from flanking. So let's go ahead and do that. Um... Yeah, I think at this point we're pretty good. We have tons of vassals and a huge coalition. Peace. Samachi. 
Does anyone be my vassal? Nope. No one wants to be my vassal. Okay. So let's uh, go towards next turn and see what Samaria does. Oh, interesting. Interesting. All right, time to go back to uh, Young Zhao farmland. Oh, Tao Huan actually took it over. Nice, nice, nice. So I way signed a treaty with Shen Yu. Faction Regency, Jin Empire signed a treaty with Su Yin. Ren Xiao declared war on Sima Yuan. Nice. Jade Bird, relationship deepens between Sima Bei and Sima Liang. Nice. Bonus experience with Sima Liang. That's awesome. All right, buildings done. Rune none. Workshop. Let's get this up. Do I want this? A 60 upkeep. Plus two, one more jurisdiction. So right now I have total increase of 10 jurisdiction per turn. Which is pretty good. I think I might actually just going to go with the communal workshops for now. Yeah, let's do that. Song Li Yuanji, creative man. This would have been awesome if he was a, a sentinel instead. Suspicious, agile. Yeah, he would have been an awesome huh, sentinel, but what a total waste on a strategist. What about you? Yeah. Nope. Actually, she's not. Oh no, definitely not. Okay. Yeah. None of, these, none of these guys are that good. So she's moving towards this rush. I'm probably to try to take over that. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to move these guys back and have Smaliang be my main lead. Yeah, I'm going to use Smaliang as my main lead. I'm going to move these guys and run them back to try to hold off against this attack on this one right here. I mean, I have a decent amount of, I guess, uh, reinforcements, but it's definitely not going to be enough to hold that back. So let's try to force march you to see if you can get back. Yep. I'm going to take you back in order to um, form that defense against Sima Yuan's army that's coming down this way. I'm going to have Sima Liang move towards Pain Chang. So he's very unhappy. Sima Zong. My son is also very extremely unhappy. A resolve. A cunning. Hmm, go for the A resolve. Don't know what I can give you, bro. Let's just give you that. Just make you happier. I don't know what you want me to do because you have no, no position in my army right now. Okay, so let's, let's get some more of military supplies i don't want to move into enemy territory in the winter with you know not ideal not full military supplies so let's let's definitely hold off on moving in for now and just uh focus on getting up getting up on military supplies as well as hopefully defending against these guys uh somebody coming down my left side and just double check diplomacy nothing Non-aggression pact, Samachi. Are willing to pay me more now, or what? Nope, you're still not willing to pay me. Okay, let's go next turn. Oh, what the hell? You're trying to attack Runan? Are you serious? <laughs> and Tao Huan. Well, that's, that's not Tao Huan. It's somebody else. Potential traitor. One of you... Uh, courtiers has loudly and dramatically denounced one of his opponents as a spy. In private, the Qs admits this fact and begs protection. Okay, the satisfaction, I definitely do not want that. So let's go for the might alignment. Let's execute them. Execute. Character right? Sima Liang. Gain. Nice, nice. Clay Ox. Nice, nice. Sima Liang. Ooh, this is going to be super good for dueling. Tenacity of Steel. This is going to make him a master. Like a super, super good master dueler. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, let's definitely get that. 
Okay, so Sima Yue is moving down this side. I definitely want to have him defend Runan. And I believe he's going to pull back, but we'll see what he actually does. This army can definitely completely wreck his army. So it's pretty much half dead already. Definitely a huge amount of ranks though. Look at, look at all this. And I'm going to attack him next time he doesn't fall back. And we have Song Wei taking Chen actually from Sima Yue. So he's pretty much effed right here. Because he's completely surrounded. And his only territory is up here, which I'm already going for. Yeah, I think I'm going to force march it over there. It's going to be risky. Actually, let's not force march it. Let's just go directly over there. Ooh, perfect. Nope. Yeah, this army is pretty weak, and he has no defense over here. I definitely want to be careful though, because this is a this is a pretty big city. If he has any more reinforcements, it's gonna it's gonna hurt a lot for this group for sure. So, Let's see cooperation. Nope, military access. Zhang Lu. Let's see. So you're not willing to pay me. What about Sima Qi? Running away, willing to pay me yet? Nope. Okay. So let's see what's gonna happen here. <laughs> Nobody likes Sima Ju, which is freaking hilarious. Okay, let us see what Sima Yue is going to do in this turn. He's moving back into Penchang, which is smart. Is that Sima Yue? Why, why did he have an army all the way down there? Huh, interesting. I need to take a look at this to see what the hell's going on over here. I don't know why he has an army all the way down there. Unless he captured something all the way down there. But that could be the case, actually. He might have ca ca captured something. What is this? The people comes first. Interesting. Unpopular with most popular wealth alignment. So what is this? What is wealth? Plus five prestige, plus five income. So... If I, can, I can get popular, which is plus 15 prestige, plus 10 diplomatic with most factions, minus 1,000, or I can get spirit alignment, be unpopular. So right, I think I might actually go for this for now. I think I might go for this for now, just because only 5 turns, but I can get 10 spirit alignment. This is a hard decision. Wealth plus five prestige plus five percent income from all sources. But this is very, very uh ten ten percent corruption by the time I get to the next level of spare alignment. Okay, let's go for the wealth alignment then. I think it's probably gonna be better. Popular, nice, nice. Hopefully I can get more vassals out of this as well. Care to develop <laughs> so many strategists. Ooh, gray thoroughbred. Plus four expertise. I can give it to that one chick. That uh, sentinel. Yeah, her. So he has, she has the plus four resolve. So let's take that off for you. And give you the expertise horse. And give uh, the resolve one to Sima Leung. If he doesn't have one. Nope. Yeah, so I have to wait for this one. It's okay. Character developments. Two Fa Cheng. So greedy. Not good. Nope. I don't like her. Bai Yue. I don't particularly like him either. Uh, Pu Fan Shu. Deceitful. Direct. Yeah, all three of these guys suck. <laughs> oh well. It's all good. Yang Zhao. Upgrades. Nice, nice, nice. Get more fruit production. Always fruit production, man. Always fruit production. Food's awesome in this game. So let's definitely chase down Sima Yue. I think he might end up going for this. 
But let's definitely chase him down. Yeah, let's let's chase him down. Um, so for you, losing tons of military supplies. I can siege Peng Chang. Oh yeah, this army over here. I don't know what the hell's going on. So, so Sima Yu actually end up taking over here. So she has he has this army coming up from the south. Which will take a while before she gets over there. Damn, this is a really hard decision. I'm not exactly sure what I should do in this situation here. Well, I think this is definitely a good stopping point for this episode. Um, I think, you know, by the time the next episode comes, we'll definitely make a decision in terms of whether I should attack Pin Chang or pull back, uh, given the lack of military supplies, uh, well, decreasing military supplies. <laughs> In comparison to how long it would take to siege out that city as well as this this tiny threat um, coming out from the south uh, in addition to that next episode we're also gonna be trying to chase down some a uh, pretty 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 damaged army on this side with uh, with our secondary army led by Dai Ying so that's definitely something for the next episode so with that said uh thank you all very much for tuning in to watch this episode of the somalian campaign on legendary difficulty for total war three kingdoms the eight princes dlc if you enjoyed this episode and would like to support the channel please let me know in the comments below and feel free to hit that like icon smash that subscribe button and click on the notification bell to get the latest updates for my channel i will be releasing brand new episodes from the total war let's play series every week on tuesdays and thursdays so please tune in and check them out and uh conquer ancient china with me if you're also in the mood for some live action gameplay community fun uh, feel free to join me on twitch at sweezy underscore ttv or mixer at sweezy so that's it for today thanks again for watching and i will catch you all on the next one peace